Hey, how we doing everybody? Matt Moda here with Ajdian, here to give you a Thursday night betting preview for the just very exciting game between the Raiders and the Rams. We have the Rams who have the worst Super Bowl defense in NFL history. They are literally the worst team to follow up a Super Bowl victory, but hey, they still won the Super Bowl last year, so you can't take that much away from them. The Raiders had a horrible start to the year but are actually riding pretty hot recently, coming off of back-to-back -back victories against the Seahawks and then last week against the Chargers. Still probably too far out to make any noise in the playoffs or even make the playoffs, but good on them for not letting their season just totally uh, turn toward a downward spiral. Come back, win, I think three straight, four or five, something like that. Um, so the odds are obviously reflective of that. Using OddsJam, the free line shopping tool, to pull up odds for this game, we have pretty um, we have uh, pretty heavy favorites. The Raiders are in terms of where uh, the Raiders are trading. If you look at all the books, uh, the money line odds, the best odds you can get on them, as you can see here, are at minus two twenty six. Average odds at minus two forty one. So this minus two twenty six isn't a horrible price. Looks like the closest book has it at minus two thirty five, minus two thirty four on Pinnacle. Now I'm not suggesting anybody touch odds that high, um, that unfavorable towards the sports better in terms of payout, but not a horrible price. In terms of the Rams side of it, they are plus 205. Best odds you can get on them looks like that's at Circus Sports. Average odds of about plus 197. Looks like the sharper books like Pinnacle plus 203, Bet Online plus 200. So nothing, I mean, if you're going to take a money line play, the value here is on the Raiders, but again, I'm not suggesting anybody take minus 226, but that is a little bit of value. In terms of the point spread, we see the main line here. Pinnacle prices this at plus five and a half. We see um, uh, the Rams plus five and a half, obviously, I should say. We see Bet Online, another sharp book, have this at Raiders minus six. So for me, I like the Raiders at this number. The Rams, I mean, they did play the Seahawks pretty tough yesterday with John Wolford, but the Raiders are hot. And the Rams are just so, so banged up. They're just, I mean, they lost Aaron Donald for the first, he missed his first game of his career last week. Obviously, Cooper Cup's out, Matthew Stafford's out, just completely banged up. And again, they did show some fight last week against their division, division rival Seahawks. Not sure they'll be able to, to, to show that same sort of energy against the Raiders. Um, so the value here. The better play, it looks like it is on the Raiders at minus five and a half because you're getting a little bit of a better price. And we see Bet Online have this priced at Raiders minus six. So you're getting a little bit of a half point advantage there. We also see the books kind of split, the rest of the betting markets kind of split between five and a half and six, right? Like we see Pinnacle, or excuse me, uh, FanDuel, Caesars, Bet365, WinBet, Tipico, Bet Rivers, FoxBet. Pinnacle price this at Raiders minus five and a half. We see both Pinnacle and Typical favor the Raiders at this number. And then we see BetMGM, Points Bet, um, DraftKings, and then Bet Online and Circa have this priced at Raiders minus six. And we see a couple books that have alternate lines at the Raiders minus six, um, but nothing really to glean from here. So not going to have an official play on this at all because you're not getting any mathematically profitable positive expected value bet, especially with the VIG removed. Um, if I were to guess, I would probably say the Raiders minus five and a half is the play here. It's hard for me to put that much faith in the Rams. Uh, normally, we see teams that are having kind of a lost season get up for a division rival game like that, but they're not able to keep that same energy throughout the course of the season, which makes sense here. But again, not going to have a play. And then in terms of the over under, we see lines kind of um, hovering or uh, difference between 43 and a half, 44, 44 and a half. If you look at the sharp books, because that's obviously the most important stuff, looks like Bet Online has this total priced at 44, but they favor the over. Pinnacle has this priced at 44 as well, also favoring the over. Although it does look like none of the books have their main line at 43 and a half. We see every book that prices 43 and a half looks like it's juiced towards the over. So nothing really valuable here. Um, the value looks like it's a little bit more on the over 
at 44. If you want to get it at minus 109, this is at play up. Pinnacle prices it at 44, favors the other over. Excuse me. Bet online prices it at 44, favors the over. Um, and most books have this at 44 and a half. Like if we're counting, it's BetMGM, BetFred. Um, looks like FanDuel, Caesars, Bet365. Um, Typico, yes. Bet Rivers, Circa have this at 44 and a half. And we can get it on a couple books, especially at minus 109 at 44. So again, not um, nothing going to be a positive expected value play. If I had to give my prediction, I'll probably say, like I said, Raiders minus five and a half, and I'd probably take the over 44, I think is the more likely scenario here. But none of these plays are going to be mathematically profitable. So you're just going to have to hold off until uh, more lines get posted so we can find positive EV plays. But if you do want to lock in the Raiders minus five and a half, the over 44, those are my official predictions. And that's going to be it. So appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.